Hey guys, we're here with Brady Pruitt, who will be competing at the Franklin Showcase November 14th, where his opponent will be Sean Reinbull. Um, uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, like your school you go to, some of your accomplishments, and stuff like that? All right, so I'm Brady Pruitt. I go to uh, Archbishop Spalding at the moment. I'm a junior there. And um, high school is consisted of freshman year, I got second at States. Previous year, sophomore year, I got first. And uh, both years, I was able to place at uh, National Prep, so I'm a two-time All-American. Nice. That's awesome. And you're currently ranked 20th in the country by the Open Mat, which is a pretty big accomplishment. Yes, thank you. Um, okay, so let's get started with the questions. Will this be your first year competing, or have you competed this year yet? Like uh, no, I've been competing in a lot of tournaments, actually. I went to um, Battle in the Berg, uh, Bison Duels. And I'm going to be going to NHSCA, actually. Okay. Awesome. How did it feel to knock off some rust? Like, how did, like, was it weird coming back, like, your first match? And also, how did it feel? Um, I want to say it felt weird, but it didn't at the same time. Because I've been training a lot through um, everything that's been going on, just, like, privates and stuff. So, like, obviously because of COVID and all that. But um, I feel really good because in those matches, I felt – I used to be a very one-dimensional wrestler, like same moves, very cautious each match. But I feel like I came back from this um, quarantine and all this stuff, and I was able to really work my stuff and, like, hit moves I've never hit before and, like, win some pretty big matches, and it felt really good. Yeah. Now, you went undefeated at Bison and Battle of the Bird, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, so, can you tell us a little about what you've been doing to prepare for this showcase um, and like what clubs or places you train at mainly? So I've mainly been going to uh, the barn Warhawks, as you guys know. And um, yeah, it's mainly that. I mean, a lot of kids have been actually going up there, like uh, kids like Richard Cooper, a lot of big names. And then I've been uh, practicing with my coach, uh, Adam DeCosmo a lot, just like one-on-ones and stuff. Yeah. That's awesome. awesome. Um. So, like we said earlier, your opponent is Sean Reinbolt. Um, how well do you know him, and have you ever wrestled him before? Not much, actually. I, uh, this is uh, my first time hearing about him, and that's not because of, like, any other reason. But um, I also, like, before I wrestle a match, I don't know about anyone else, but I don't like to, like, look into my wrestling, um, like the person I'm going up against, because I feel like it helps me uh, prepare for it better. And I know it sounds weird, but I don't think about it as much. And I'm able to, like, work my stuff more if I don't know, like, what they're coming out with. And I don't wrestle as cautious. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. So, so the, the showcase is kind of a cool um, kind of cool event as it's just going to be you and him wrestling at the time. What do you think of this format of just the showcase style? And how do you, is, that, is it your first time doing one of these? Um, I think it's awesome. I've done – there was something a little while back – maybe I think it was last year, maybe yeah. around this time. Yeah. And it was some, they called it some showcase thing, but it was like multiple people at a time. Oh, okay. And I might've actually been the, I think it was called the main event. I don't know. It wasn't as big as what this is, but yeah. this, I feel like this yeah. is a lot more organized and stuff, but it was still like, it was pretty cool. I was actually doing soccer at the time. And um, I think my opponent was Jesse fresh, but it was really cool. Like seeing it. And like, I'm glad they've actually uh, taken it like to the next level and uh, with uh, what they're doing this time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so other than your match at the showcase, are there any matches you're looking forward to watching? Yeah, definitely. I really am um, looking forward to uh, Richard and uh, James match. I think that'll be a uh, pretty cool and like highly anticipated just because of uh, Richard's credentials and um, his uh, new ranking and um, James being what is it, a four time state champion? Yeah, he's yeah three, I think, because he's going to be a senior this year. That's right. That's right. Three. Yeah, yeah. I I, I think that's going to be an awesome match. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, so, what what do you have to score that match? I'm gonna have to give it to Richard. Um, score. That's the thing though, because Richard, seeing him wrestle as much as I have, he either is able to rack up a lot of points or he keeps it really close. No matter if he's like, it could be like a pretty good kid and it'll be like two to one, or it could be like yeah. best kid in the country two to one. So I'd say probably low score, but I, yeah, I'd have to give it to Richard. Okay. So right. you think like two two one two zero oh, three yeah, one? Yeah, if I, if I had to say, I would say probably three zero. I, I think he can uh, keep him down, and he'll get an escape and then a takedown. Yeah, All right, nice. So 
due to COVID, there will probably be no spectators at the venue. Is it going to feel weird going out there where there's, like, literally no one, maybe besides a coach or a ref? Like, what what are you going to, like, when you walk out there and you see no one besides a coach or someone, is it going to feel a little weird, do you think? I mean, it's going to stink, obviously, because um, that's, like, one of the cool parts about, like, a showcase, you know, yeah. all the, the people watching. But, honestly, I feel like it will be no different from, like, you know, like a – like a dual tournament, like an individual tournament. At the end of the day, it's like thousands of kids wrestling, and it's just you on the mat with uh, whoever's in your corner against your opponent. Yeah, uh, yeah I don't think it'll be too weird. Yeah, yeah. definitely. All right, so now we're going to ask you a couple of questions about yourself. Um, who is your favorite wrestler to watch and why? To watch? I would say probably Thomas Gilman. Yeah, yeah I just love, like, like, especially his interviews and stuff, too, just his, like, mentality. Is like wild. He's crazy, but I love it. I mean, it's awesome. I love watching him wrestle and just like how he he doesn't stop. Like, what was that one match? He was down by like it was in the uh, documentary. He was down by like yeah. Amount of points. Oh, um, Ethan Lezak. Yeah, yeah. I, I know what match you're talking. About. That match is crazy. His yeah, mentality like, is crazy. Eight, eight, eight takedowns. He's like, oh, I got that. He's like easy, yeah. and he just goes out and does it. It's crazy. And then I remember one of his interviews. Like, he can meet me in the parking lot. If you want to, I was like, <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love that energy. I don't know something about it, but yeah, he's definitely my favorite wrestler. Yeah. Um, I, I'm surprised he switched to, um, Nick Nick Lion. Lion wrestling club, but he was like, yeah. I feel like the perfect fit or like the perfect stereotyped Iowa wrestler, like mm -hmm. hard definitely. nose. Yeah. Um, That's awesome. So what's your favorite wrestling move? wrestling move mm -hmm. i could go with the safe answer and say uh just because of warhawk cradle <laughs> but um recently it's been a, a lot of different moves because i've been um it used to just be like a like a knee pull uh -huh. so i'm just gonna say that but recently it's been a lot different so i don't i couldn't say i have one like one specific move but yeah i just say knee pull to be safe okay. okay the next question is do you have a favorite wrestling style out of the three I don't know. So I wrestled freestyle a good amount. I've actually never wrestled Greco. Okay. Okay. And I have a little experience with uh, freestyle, but um, I don't know because I really love top, but I also love neutral because yeah. top is tiring sometimes. Like like my forearms. I don't know if you guys ever wrestled. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah your forearms. Yeah, but um, I'll go with freestyle. I like freestyle a lot actually. It's just like something different. Yeah. Now, would you how how do you rank those from best to worst? In your opinion, so I'd probably say probably just um freestyle, folk style, and Greco, just because I've never done it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. So now, so the last question is: After the showcase, will there be anywhere else you'll be competing? Um. To let everyone else know, just. Um. I will. I think there's a tournament coming up and it's supposed to be like kind of like Beast of the East since Beast got uh, what is it called? Um I know what you're talking about. Richard is yeah. talking about it. Yeah, I forgot about the name of it, but yeah, I'll definitely be going there. And just anything else that comes up really. Awesome. Okay. All right. So good luck at the showcase. Um, me and Will definitely will be watch watching. Um and anywhere else, you state tournament, whenever that happens, if it happens, or anywhere else anywhere else this season, good luck. And thank you yeah. for coming on. Thank you, Thanks, guys. Brady. Yeah.